Hey friends, how's it going? I'm Will. In today's video, we're going to be playing some Dead Cells. Um, it just came out about a week ago with a a new update called the Update of Plenty. Um, if you've played Dead Cells and you remember um, gear scrolls and like shop costs being how they were, uh, now you no longer get scrolls from gear, so you don't get any like basically levels for those that don't know what, what I mean by that. Um, and shops should be a little more affordable. So those are kind of the big main surface updates to this this patch. And uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and do a run. I'm playing on 4-cell. I don't really have all the things unlocked, but uh, for those that don't know, 4-cell is like new game plus, 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 plus. So uh, the difficulty goes up by quite a bit each time. And oh, hey, look, there's a... Uh, an amulet here. Damage from projectiles reduced by 75 and oil on slam with two tactics. Alright. So the game's already telling me to go tactics or purple. Uh, I see a parry shield right there. But no tactics weapons. Feels bad, man. Hey! We could go nerves of steel. I guess I don't actually have to look for S rank. Do I? Because we don't get scrolls from him anymore. Can I put this in my backpack? Another thing they added was a backpack for if you're... Uh, if you're using two-handed weapons. Which, two-handed weapons are also a new thing. I remember. Um, basically, some weapons will take up both your, your X and Y slots. So, you'll have to... Um, For crossbows in particular, I think they got they got switched to two-handers. But when you have one, you get a, a backpack where you can store a single one-handed weapon. That's I'm not going in there. Where are the bad guys at? Come on! I never really feel comfortable using only a, a ranged weapon. Because I hate running out of ammo with that. But we'll try our best. That um, that arrow shooting behind me came in real clutch there. Ah, oh, the shield blocked it, or he teleported and blocked it. Okay, that was rude. So I'm a little out of practice. It's been several weeks since I played, but it looks like we're doing all right. Eleven mobs, no hits taken. No mayonnaise for this guy. A giant killer. Is this game trying to tell me to go <laughs> Brutality instead of Tactics? I don't know. I don't know about this one. 811. My DPS would be cut in half, but then I wouldn't have to worry about crits. Plus we have the Frontline Shield, which makes melee attacks deal 20% increased damage. I think I'll try it. That Nerves of Steel worked well, but... Let's just get rid of it. That is phaser, right? Okay, so we can teleport behind enemies. I thought that was the uh, light speed dash. Nice thing about um, phaser is it, it locks the direction that the enemy is facing. <laughs> get right, idiot. Not feeling the Hayabusa boots. The nice thing about Giant Killer is it does a shitload of damage to bosses. However, the problem is, it doesn't do that much damage to anything else. Literally anything else. Which is why we have to sp spend like three hits on a, a damn rat. Oh hey, you guys can teleport. Kind of like that. I wanted to teleport to the uh, Birdman. That oh, there's two. I did not teleport behind the shield man. However, this is what I mean when I said I'm not I'm out of practice. So this will go really well because uh, you know it's a, it's an elite. However, I did kind of just eat that laser beam. The funny thing about it is I've I've only used the giant killer a couple times, but it kind of takes the same amount of swings to kill regulars as it does elites. 
It's kind of a funny way to have that balance. They didn't want to let me dash behind the enemies because they were right up on the wall. So shops are now split up into things that are based on certain scrolls. It used to be like range, melee, utility or something like that. But we're looking at brutality for the most part. Another phaser. But I don't want it. Everything's so cheap. Usually that'd be like fucking 20k in this place. I think Giant Killer was a mistake. I really liked that, um, that Nerves of Steel. Pairing rats is such a, a risky idea. Because their attack arc is just... It tends to hit you even if you're, uh... Even if you parry directly in front of you because the arc goes right behind you. And oh my shit. Well... I'd kind of like to redo that. Let's let's just do another one. I kind of wanted to have each video be one run, but uh, if I can't get that far, we may as well just, you know, try again. Maybe I'll actually get out of Promenade this time. So note to self, don't take Giant Killer unless I can parry it properly. Otherwise, it'll take too much, too much effort to kill things. Is this actually the exact same run as last time? We just have... We just have, uh... Corrupted power instead of... Vampirism, which is fine. I don't really like either of them, but... I think I prefer... Corrupted power over Vampirism. Wait a minute, Vampirism got changed! I completely forgot about that. It's on a cooldown now, it used to be... It would only refill when you spend money? Or when you spend a flask, I mean? I forgot I had a ranged weapon. Oh, what? How did that break the shield through a, another shield? Wait, come here. Ah, I was hoping I could get that broken before. Before it fired. Wait, we have piercing on this. Is it all? Shots pierce the first target. Nice. Now, if only I could time Chris properly. Hey, that was a slick dodge. Ooh, I like punishment a lot. And it's legendary as well. Attacking just after parry inflicts 300% damage, 7% extra absorption. Grit steal 20% extra. Sadly, I don't think that applies to grits with other weapons, but uh, it'd be nice. The real nice thing is that it scales off of purple. Now the only thing I have to do is remember to actually parry things. Kind of like that. I got really confused because I couldn't see the... The exclamation mark looked like it was coming from a frozen one. There we go. I can't hit you from the front? Even when you're frozen, dude? Come on! Alright, so that was really, really bad. But, uh, we'll get there. Oh, that's light speed. <coughs> I thought it was phaser. I got it mixed up again. That's an awkward way to figure that one out. Uh, piercing is kind of like the, the biggest value on Nerves of Seal. How the hell did I just get through that without getting hit? I have no idea. Alright, we're doing it. We're parrying, boys. Alright. Oh, hey. I should have... I should have parried that up here. Hold on. I couldn't choose which direction to swing. Uh, I hate drinking potions this early because you don't get any back and forth, though. Unless you buy them, but they did make it. They did say they were making it. Come on, dude, let me roll through. They did say they were making it more easy to afford potions as you go further in. So we'll see if that holds true. I'm pretty much entirely a tactics build. Is this better than mine? So most of the scaling they said they want to do now comes from the level of the actual 
weapon itself. So this is a, a six compared to my four and it does looks like 120 more DPS on a crit, which ideally if I can time everything perfectly would be every shot. And it still has plus three ammo, still has shots pierce and has crit steal 20% damage along with burning instead of a grenade. So I think the burning will be bigger value and it's 3,800 to my 5,300. So let's give it a try. I don't really intend to use absolute uh, corrupted power. Uh, I'm not in a state where I can avoid damage that effectively. Another uh, another thing they added in this update is that rerolling the shop is now free. It used to be it used to cost you money just to reroll, like a good chunk of money, but. Um, they removed the cost and they made it so that when you reroll, the items that are added to the shop become more expensive. Well, he survived that first crit. Wow. Hey, you're elite and invisible as well. Cool. I always have a hard time parrying these, uh, these enemies. Thankfully, I didn't have to do it that much more. We still have tactics. I lose some survivability, or some survival, so I'll have a little less health. But less damage from projectiles makes my life a whole lot easier. When I get into situations like I had earlier, where I had the Inquisitor on one side and the Birdman on the other, uh, that hit does a lot less damage. I want to get through this, so I'm just going to use a potion. Which, these are kind of like warm-up runs. Shots pierce one. Not all of them. I should have used the... Uh, ab uh, the, the dash to clear out the rats on my way over. I'm having a hard time remembering these names. Hey, infected food. My least favorite. There's the promenade. We're going to go there because it's kind of the simplest route. Simplest, easiest when, when trying to uh, reacclimate to the game. Hey, I was itching my arm. Trying to pull a sneaky one on me. Oh. Do I value this more than I value Corrupted Power? I think I do. That explosion that comes from that is actually really nice. And the ability to dis to distract things while uh, while I charge up my my bow will also be hyper valuable. Omega super hyper valuable. I'm at 29 kills without taking damage. 23. If I can get seven more, we'll get the. Uh, the no-hit door. Oh, almost tried to catch it. Want you to hit me. After how I got hit in that first run, while I was ground pounding onto the Inquisitor, I'd really rather not risk ground pounding when I can just parry it. Parrying is safer if you can time it right. Don't tell me we're out of enemies when I'm at 28, please. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that bread until I am ready to leave. Have I found the uh, super shop yet? I don't think I have, but this is a loot down here, so may as well just grab it. Hey, how you doing? Six hundred dollar reduce. That's quite a bit more than uh, six hundred is quite a bit more useful than it used to be. So I will take it. We are out of enemies. Re. Well, you hate to see it, but I guess there's nothing that I can do about it. If there were any enemies left, they would be shown on the map right now. The little skulls after, because I have the uh, 
the Explorer's Rune on. So basically, once you find 75% of the uh, the map uncovered, then it'll just reveal the rest and tell you where enemies are, tell you where loot is. It's really handy. Uh, I don't remember where you get it, but I highly recommend it. What do you got, Mr. Collector Mans? You got outfits. Is there something I... I kind of want to hold on to my shop. Or my my souls. My cells. For the the forge. If I can get past the first boss. Um, 3k to upgrade to S rank. That used to be like a solid 28k. Every time. 70% <clears throat> damage to a stunned... 60% to a bleeding and exploding remains. I don't think I care about that. 75% on rooted targets. Well, I can't really take advantage of those, but I do like the extra money, or the extra damage. I don't know what, where I got money, but... You know. Uh, I can't do melee strikes, so all of those are kind of useless. 28% if there are no enemies near me is kind of nice. If I had a way to do hand-to-hand -hand, hand -hand attacks, that would be useful. For when I run out of ammo in the Nerves of Steel. I, I've always liked Parting Gift. Networking is kind of hard to take advantage of when you have piercing. I thought they changed this to do percent damage, although I guess that doesn't mean... Uh, that would, that would be kind of hard to do percent with. Or would it? You could just do your next melee attack after using skill inflicts 30% extra damage or whatever it is. But uh, I guess they didn't quite want that. One of the big focuses was changing flat scaling to percent scaling in, in mutations to make them more useful. Dodging an attack at the last moment slows down nearby enemies for 1.2 seconds. They can no longer affect you with malaise for 3 seconds. So it's either damage or safety from the mayo. I will take safety from the mayo if I can take advantage of that. Promenade. Let's see if I can actually get the uh, 60 in a row here. Couldn't do 30 in the first zone, so it's a little uh, questionable. But damn it, I'm going to try my best. Oh, it's an invisible elite again. I don't know why I let that bomb hit me when bombs are the, quite literally the easiest things to parry in the game. Uh, those are the wrong scrolls, so I believe I will pass. So what, did I find one scroll? I've got one brutality and one purple. So that makes for two, that makes for all my brutality scrolls and all that puts me at two tactics. So I guess I found two in the previous zone. I thought they were gonna be adding more. Maybe it was after the, yeah. Uh, that was ridiculously close. All right, I'm gonna take care of the shield dummy first. Hopefully they don't see me. Birds is one thing, but the big boys, while they're shielded, would actually be awful. You got, I forgot that actually uh, enemies that survive having rubble dropped on their heads get stunned for a solid 10 seconds. I was really worried he would wake up and come after me. Let's have a look. I'm poor. Haha. <laughs> What's this? Seven? Shots explode into a toxic cloud. That's kind of interesting. I'd rather have piercing though. That's a lot of extra arrows too. With 40% to a burning target. Hey. Don't you be standing there looking at me like that. I really don't like that bow just because its tooltip shows two arrows and it actually fires three been like that since the game went from early access to released and 
I have never really actually given that bow a fair chance because of it. It's just, it just bothers me. I have to look at that the entire run and wonder why is there not a third arrow? Who knows? Maybe that's... Maybe with budget cuts being how they are, that's just, uh, they couldn't, they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. Wait, he saw me from over there? Dear goodness. They made teleporting more aggressive. Hey, good food. Can I get them both? Please? Please? Hey! Got him. We're almost, we're a third of the way there. Almost halfway. You are no hit door. Oh look, a no hit shop. I'm just gonna re-roll for the fun of it. I can't afford what, what's gonna happen. But I just want to do it for free because I can. I actually could have afforded that root grenade, but I even though I haven't used it once or twice, I would rather have the, the tactical dummy. There we go. Now I can say I've used it three times. Hey, that was really unfortunate. Woohoo! Alright, the second dash on uh, light speed doesn't actually do that much damage. It does like two. If the first ship if the first shot does like a thousand, so it's more for mobility. What's behind the four cell door? More enemies. There's 30. Yeah, the, the nicest thing about um, light speed is you can use the even the second swing to kill birds. <gasps> I didn't even think about parrying that. My mind was solely focused on dodging, and that really almost didn't work. Hey, stop that. I don't like when enemies sit just outside of the uh, shooting radius, I guess. Alright, we're in there. We're, we're doing a little better. I shouldn't say that because I'm going to get my ass handed to me now. But, uh, damn it, I'm feeling good. I got 135 cells. Only one more area after this before I get to the boss. Hey, I should go through the door. I just have to get through ramparts after this and we can fight the concierge. Get my easy forge. Hey! Please. So only the zombies counted as kills for the no-hit door, which kind of makes me sad. I'm not sure if that's a bug or intended, but even the little birds in this level, like the, the green one there, that does count. So I would assume the regular birds would have. Are they gonna well the bomber is that's kind of par for the course for them though hey only i'm allowed to dash dude fuck i mistimed it oh please they're on to me <laughs> see what i mean the bombs are super useful it blew up oh shit i parried the wrong way i parried on time but i parried the wrong way but your boy just barely got the perfect door yeet I honestly thought I lost it. Hell yeah. So long as I got that, if I can survive till the end, I'm not even upset that I got hit. I've never been good at doing uh, like perfect zero damage runs in any game, so I'm, I'm not that upset about it. So this is a, uh, a new crossbow, which now takes two slots. Does 1100 damage on crit compared to my Nerves of Steel's 1600. So, uh, yeah, I'll just not do that. Thanks. I will try one out, like, if I get it at the start, but for now, I'm kind of liking how this run is feeling. And we all saw what happened last time when I changed up from a good a good thing. Um, Shot Spear. So, so it has the, the regular attack on the left and then Quiver of Bolts, which I guess is just a special flurry of shots. 
that can't crit, evidently, um, on the right. I thought I was getting hit there. I didn't kill it in time to make the uh, the bombs effective. I thought, and I thought I was out of range for the swing. Hey, get least there. Whoop. Let me take care of this before I look at that amulet. We, if it swapped the brutality for the survival instead of the tactics, I'd think about it, but then I would also still say no because I would lose my damage from projectile reduction. And that's kind of a, of paramount importance to me. I barely missed the timing twice. I wanted to, to get it with the second dash. Alright, alright. <gasps> I'm facing the wrong way! Oh, the, what even got what even got that bird? Was it a biter? I thought for sure I was getting smacked there. I hate green birds. They're so scary. You can even you can parry them and everything, but every time I see them, I just have a huge, a massive like fear reaction. I just kind of freeze. My only instinct is to run away. I do like pyrotechnics, but again, I'm not swapping up from what I got. The new tonic has a 10 second cooldown, grants 50% of your missing health as bonus health, reducing damage taken by 20% and protecting you from the mayo for 10 seconds. I thought they may were going to make it so that um, I'm actually going to take this and use it just to see what happens. Okay, so the, uh, the last patch note I saw for um, the update, it must have been a, they must have changed it between my reading it and the update itself but uh that was going to be change 50 percent or 75 percent of your max health into rally health which is the uh the yellow health bar the yellow portion of the health bar after you get hit that you can recover by hitting things and so it's just going to give you a bunch of that and be on it like a a 10 second cooldown so you could just keep recovering health by fighting things but I kind of like the, um, the the current way more. Hey, that was farther than I wanted to go. Turns out you can't pierce the shield. Ah, dude, come on, please. Toxic cloud when you take damage or burn the ground. I like burning better. Oh, hey, 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 hey. That was a really bad spot for that to drop. There we go. Took way too many attempts, but okay. Ooh. There have been a couple times where I tried to do my secondary dash very, very near the time at which I attack, and it didn't go off. So my timing must be off. But if I could time it right, it would have been really nice to fire that shot and then dash to the other side of them, just to make sure that I wouldn't get hit. In case the arrow either didn't kill them or they got the attack off before they died. Or... Definitely something I can practice. Oh, the, the window to use the secondary dash expired while I was trying to use it to kill birds. Speaking of birds, we got any flyboys up here still? Yep. What do we have here? Actually, I have Explorer's Instinct, so I could see. Is there a teleporter over here? That'll save me time. 
Yeah. Got one more little enemy section and then I can move on to ramparts. I was never a fan of ramparts. Not intending to do the moonflower key thing, so. Even though I picked up that one, it was kind of by accident. So there's actually like a, a timer. I, I wanted to run, but the, the little bombs were blocking my way. What was I saying about a timer? Oh, there's kind of a timer between the uh, the shield dummies dying and the shields actually coming off of the enemies. Which is a little depressing, but... It's good to know. Alright, that's that. I didn't actually have to use any potions here. Kind of surprising considering there's way more enemies in, in promenade than there are in prison. I'm not sure if it was because the layout was a little better for me or or what, but that's all right by me. I like having more potions. We got mushroom boy. I love me mushroom boy. He's a bro. I don't like the owl. He's he's kind of a, a pansy if you ask me. He'll he'll roll with you. Until you get hit, but then once you get hit, he's gone. That's... Uh, I need a ride or die like Mushroom Boy. You know? Can't have people running from me when, when shit goes south. Let's, let's do Parting Gift. I can never really guarantee that there's no... Or there's not going to be an enemy close by, even though I do have... This uh, nerves of steel. Um, that'll be more easier to guarantee if I can get to concierge, which is after this. So, if I do that, that's when I'll take uh, serenity or whatever the the distance one is. Then I can just stay away from concierge and get it easy free thirty percent damage. I did not think that would hit him. I used to be able to time that drop shot perfectly. Gone are the days, sadly. Hey. I thought I thought he would go down in one hit. That was my own hubris that cost me that hit. Hubris, I say. I kind of wish I had more tactic scrolls. I kind of wish I had more health too, but you know. How does it feel to want? The birds don't even get killed by ground pounds anymore. What's going on? Oh, hey, go. Evidently, it feels pretty good to want when you get what you want. So between the Nerves of Steel arrow and the uh, the parry hit, that was a pretty nice combo. Oh hey! Mm, I want to, him to turn around. Yay! Hey, that's not an affix that I like. <laughs> oh shit! I forgot. It was kind of a... Last time I was playing this, on the regular, I kind of came up with a... a thing to consider based on your... or like a path to consider based on your build. If you go... If you're going ranged weapon only, it's really a lot easier to go ossuary. But if you're going melee only, it's a lot easier to go ramparts because... this place has the, the crab mans, which, as you could see, block range very often and uh us where he has the turtle boys who uh hurt you if you swing on them while their back is turned 
So, so it's just like kind of natural counters to these things in each zone. So I just kind of always... Just, the other assumption that is the one that caused me to come this way despite that was that Ramparts is easier than Ossuary because there are less really, really large enemies. But, you know, really should have gone the other way. Never liked Wings of the Crow. My real question is, do I go Conjunctivius or Concierge? I think with this Concierge is better. Conjunctivius kind of goes all over the place. It's easy to miss him. Run out of ammo. Ooh, that still counted as a fairy? Hello? I'm kind of surprised and a little concerned that that did. It didn't feel like I should have parried that. Come on. Come on down. The tooltip really doesn't do justice to how useful that training dummy is. It says, turns you invisible for two seconds, attracts nearby enemies, explodes after two seconds for 168 damage. What they don't say is that it does 168 damage 20 times with 20 little bombs. Also, I forgot that I didn't notice that it generates a shield. That's a nice modifier. My bad. Didn't mean to break your shield, dude. Come on, let me ground pound. Let me ground pound, thank you. <laughs> he wasn't even in combat and he blocked that shit. This is why. This is why range is so damn difficult in this place. Not that it's like impossible, it's just harder than it has to be. He even tried to parry that on the other side of the wall. I hit the wrong button, I meant to throw the dummy. Didn't the, the oven knights used to take three swings? Every time they swing I expect them to take Three. What? I didn't realize my health was that low. Yeet. Damn. Alright, I thought I didn't use a potion because I thought I had some, some wiggle room still. Oh well. Well, I guess I guess that's it for that run and that's it for this video, so thanks for watching. Sorry about the uh, the kind of rusty dodges the rusty parries but uh yeah we'll get into it i think i'm gonna do dead cells videos for the rest of the week so if you're interested in that hit the subscribe button turn notifications on and come see me again in the next one yeet